Yo. Oh my god. What's up, Hangwood? It's freaking hot as balls in South Korea. I just finished running. It's hot. Very, very hot. I just ran a 10K. Um, yeah, 10K. That's kind of crazy. I wanted to say hi to you guys. It's been a while. I'm looking a little crazy. Today is the first day back from to school from the MERS scare. If you guys didn't see my MERS broadcast, I've been out of school for almost 12 days. Crazy. 12 days, no class, thanks to somebody and camels and something and not good. Let's see who comes on. I know it takes a while for people to come on. Recap of the weekend though, freaking Ultra was amazing. Um, I actually did a couple broadcasts um, from Ultra, but I went and re-watched them and it didn't play the whole broadcast, so I'm not sure what happened, but there's a few. Whoa, I want to test out the new filter, but I look really scary with it. Whoa, that's crazy. I can't do it. I can't show you guys. That's, that's crazy. Hi to the 10 people that are on right now. Thanks for stopping by. I'm only going to be on for a few minutes. Do a quickie. We like quickies. I have to go get ready for my first day back, which really sucks. Thanks for the thumbs up like. I just saw that swing across the freaking board. What up, buddy? Hi. Whew. I need to stretch. That was crazy. It's maybe like... 77 maybe later or hot, hotter I don't know it's freaking hot though in South Korea and whew, running outside thanks for the other thumbs up um yeah who's on it says there's 26 people on but no one I still haven't got a hangout notification that says that you're broadcasting really how do you know that I'm broadcasting then you just checked and I was there thanks buddy my eyes my eyes are I feel like my 96 in Atlanta sheesh yeah it's definitely cooler here but I feel like it's 96 because I just freaking ran and I feel like it's 96 but I think it's only like 80 hello Atlanta hold on I need to shut my bathroom door because you guys have to see my toilet and that's weird ain't nobody got time for that we don't need to see toilets in my Korean house. My Korean house is very funny. Um, yay, all the messages are coming through. Sweet. I saw it on Twitter. Oh. My head is so big. <laughs> it's because of this. <laughs> I have a fisheye lens on, so it makes my head look big. Great. I'm glad my head looks big. <laughs> Oh my god. What up, Marcus? How are you? <laughs> oh, there's the hang one. Oh, you just got it now? Hey, yo, what's up? Long time. Hi, Feli. Yeah, so Feli, now that you're on, I can tell you more about MERS. So MERS is this crazy virus that is in... <laughs> that is in uh, Korea right now. There's like 2,000 schools that are closed down, and... Uh, I think 11 people or thir 13 people have died already and um, yeah it's some crazy it's Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome is what MERS stands for so I'm trying not to get MERS because that sucks there's no like cure for it so it's not good hi Vermont um, this is why you're always late don't worry you didn't miss anything <laughs> now I'm all worried about my head see it's so close though you guys see my freaking pores when it's that close I don't like it. I like it when you guys can see everything. Thanks for the thumbs up. I just got that new across the board. You guys know you can like more than once. I think it only counts as one, but you can sit there and like, 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 and I will see who's doing it. Um, 
Let's see who else is on. Yeah, it's terrible. This is true. Um, <laughs> I'm okay. I got my mask. <laughs> I have this crazy mask. If you guys check out my Twitter, you can see all my, my mask pictures. Whoa, look at all those like buttons. I like it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> it's cool. Even though it only counts once, I can see that someone is freaking definitely liking it, which is thank you. Um, let me see. I'm going to do some stalking here. Wow, someone's like, ding, ding, like, who is that? Like, 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 That's cool, you can see it now. Whoever just did that, thanks. Why is there 57 people on, but only like 12 people are talking? Why does that always happen? Jon Snow. <laughs> Play the guitar. Mmm... I can play one song. Here, I'll play one song for you. Everybody has to turn their camera, though. Felly? Of course it's Felly. <laughs> Damn. That's awesome. All I see is blue thumbs. Bop, 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 bop. If that's Felly, awesome. I don't know how to make my camera stay. Name the song. Okay. Snoop wants to be the CEO of Twitter. I just saw Snoop. I saw him on Saturday. sweets whoa that's yummy what do you mean what do you need my address damn thanks for all the likes Ozzy sweet you have to give me more info well, I can give you my my APO address but it's not my APO address it's my friend's APO address so I just have to make sure by him if it's okay if I get something sent You inspired him at Mug. You inspired him at Mug. What does that mean? Trace Travels. Hey, thanks for letting me chill with your crew at Ultra while I was waiting for my group. <gasps> Is this... Wait a second. Oh, welcome to Hang With. Trace. I was wondering where you went. <laughs> You disappeared. I like turned around and you were gone. But that was cool that you freaking found me. And that's cool that you're on Hang With. Welcome to Hang With. It's good for your travels, actually. This app is good for your travels. You can travel your, I mean, broadcast your travels. You guys go follow Trey. She's actually in Korea visiting, traveling. That's cool. Did you follow a guy or a job to South Korea? Uh, actually, I followed... I was dating a guy that was in the military here. So I came here to be closer to him. They grabbed me. Oh, okay, that's cool. Thanks for stopping by. Did you find, how did you find Hangwood? Did I tell you about Hangwood? Am I tired pickles? Yes. I'm a tired pickles, yes. I just ran 10K. I'm freaking hot. I actually ran from over by you, Trace. Um, Yoey Do. From Yoey Do to Young Sun. It's like a 10K. It's freaking hot. So, yeah. She's gone. I'm still there. I'm so confused. Thanks for the thumbs up. Wow. So, you guys, tomorrow is my uh, tattoo talk with Yo Pickles. Um, I'm not quite sure what the topic's going to be, but we're going to do it tomorrow about 11 o'clock my time in Korea and maybe 6 p.m. West Co East Coast. No. 9 p.m. East Coast, 6 p.m. West Coast. If you guys want to come stop by, 
um, come say hello. Um, I'll be broadcasting here, and I will be broadcasting 10,000. 10,000 what? Oh, 10K. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, 10K, yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll be broadcasting here, and I'll also be broadcasting on Yo Pickles Inc. on Twitter through Periscope. So you guys can watch either here or there, but of course, hang with is the best. So um, yeah, I hope to see you guys on. You love my body. If you like my body and you think of this, definitely not sexy. No, 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 no. Definitely not. Um, at least until I take a shower and get my hair out of sumo bun. Oh. All right, guys. I've been on for almost 11 minutes. I'm going to say goodbye and see you guys tomorrow for the tattoo show. Um, maybe. Hi. I'm doing great. Perfect. Nice to see you on my broadcast. I know. It's been a while, right? I've been doing it like once a week for the tattoo show, but the last freaking month has been so crazy because I had my friend Liz here and then I had my sister here and then I had like... It's been really hard to actually um, do the tattoo show on time. So I owe you guys a good. <laughs> yeah. Ink YYY. My mom likes pickles. Really? So do I. We have a lot of common. Wild boy, what's up? You get paid while out of school? No, Max. I wish. Yeah, see you tomorrow on my tattoo show. That's awesome. Um... Thanks for stopping by, Trace. It's cool to have familiar faces on here. That's cool. Shout out to Liz. Yeah. Oh, what up, Randy? I didn't even know you were on here. How are you, buddy? Yeah, so see you guys tomorrow for the tattoo show. If you guys have any tattoo questions, you can ask on the show. And I'll be on about 11 a.m. my time. So um, see you manana about the same time as now. Actually, exactly whatever time it is right now is when I'm doing the tattoo show tomorrow. So... Stop by and say hello, and um, yeah, follow me on Twitter, Yo Pickles Inc., or if you guys want to check out my Instagram, Eat More Pickles, um, everything's in my bio, and um, connect all the way around. Damn, everybody's coming on now. Maybe I shouldn't leave. Maybe I should stay here forever. I got a shower, though. Uh, <sighs> I'm going to get you excited. What the... See you in 24 hours. Yep. <laughs> Inky. Inky, am I following you? Let me go check you out. Inky, I'm not following you, Inky. Why am I not following? Let me make sure I'm following everyone. Young Marcus. Let me see if I'm following Young Marcus. Yes, following Young Marcus. Um, yes, following Caleb. Power Max. Max Power. <gasps> Max, I'm not following you. Oh, Max, I saw that you wrote on my Yo Pickle page um, about how long the tattoo artists need to go to school. I'm actually not sure about that. That's why I haven't answered yet because I don't really know. Um, I'm not really sure. So in Korea, there's no law right now, so there's no schooling. But for actually to get your license in other countries, I would have to do my homework on it. But I think it's just you have to you have to pass it like a health board test and stuff. So streets, let me make sure. <laughs> I am following a zillion people. Um, when the app first came out, that was my thing. I always follow people that were um, new to the app. So if you have zero followers. I was like always your first follower and still, I still do it, but it actually slows down my hang width. So I try not to do it because it's, it messes up my, my hang width. So I am following a lot of people, but to be honest, a lot of those people are ghost followers because they never follow me back. So they're just freaking there. Maybe <laughs> I had to go to work. Today's my first day back in 12 days. Oh my God. It's going to suck. <sighs> I don't want to go. It's not that bad. Today's the easy day. Sort of. Actually, today is the easiest day out of the whole week, but still the fact that I have to like get on a bus and like go somewhere really far and wear a mask and be all... You guys want to see my mask? Hold on, I'll show you. What are you talking about? What the hell? Thirsty. Thirsty is a good word for you. 
Um, I felt I said it right. Let me show you my mask. I just washed it because I wore it to a music festival and it probably is really gross and dirty. Um, where is my mask? Wait. <laughs> my mask. It's funny. Mmm, it smells good. It smells like downy fresh. Mmm. <laughs> Ta -da. If that's not scary, I don't know what is. <laughs> it looks like I'm really smiling. <laughs> so you guys, I'm doing like a um, a contest. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> <Here's> my mask. <laughs> nice i like it yeah i'm definitely not here to entertain you or uh, it's definitely not going to turn me on knowing that you're getting hot off of my broadcast that is nothing it's more creepy than anything anyways <laughs> thanks for the likes <laughs> yeah this is my mask so mers is scary it's a scary virus out there, and it's a scary world, but I feel like I'm more scary with this mask. I think I'm more scary. <laughs> All my students, ah, Chelsea teacher, what are you doing? Yeah, anyways, I usually just wear it like this. It's like a chin strap. What up, Lexi baby? How are you? <laughs> Welcome to Yo Pickles MERS. So for the people that don't know what MERS is, MERS is Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome. It's a virus that came from the Middle East, from camels, they found most of the virus in camels. So somebody must have fucked a camel and brought it back to Korea because people have MERS. It all started from one guy who wasn't supposed to go to the, mil or to the Middle East and he went anyways and he came back with this virus like throwing up and whatever and ended up getting diagnosed with this MERS disease. And... Um, everybody that was in the hospital, that hospital that he checked in, are the ones that actually have this virus. So it's transmitted through the, through this hospital. So 11 people have died so far. A lot of the people that have died are older, though. They're not, like, it's, like, weaker immune systems and stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> There's, like, 2,000 people in quarantines. I think the camels got it from the bats. I don't know where it came from, but um, I'm not really too worried about it. Um, but actually where my school is, is where the hospital is. So all the schools that are closed down are over in that area where that hospital is. So, um, that's why my school is closed down, which was kind of nice. I was so like needing a break. I was dying after Liz left and my sister left. I was like, Oh my God, I need to get caught up. It came at the perfect timing. I was like, sweet. I got freaking two days. I thought I was only gonna have two days off and it came to be 12 days, no pay. So I'm like, <laughs> Why would someone fuck a camel? I don't know if someone really physically did fuck a camel, but that came from the freaking cam There's, like, camels in quarantine, too, in South Korea. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyways, ain't nobody got time for MERS. Do you guys like my mask, though? Do you think it's, like, <laughs> do you think it's a little too much? Anyways, I like my mask. It's always a hit at the parties. I am on Periscope. Yeah, I'm on Periscope. Um, I like to expand my horizons and meet new people. Actually, I've brought a lot of people over from Periscope. My followers on Periscope, Periscope are also on Hangwood now. So I'm in between both. Um, but Hangwood is always my number one. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to check out that, um, I have a Yo Pickles Inc., Periscope. So I do my tattoo show broadcasting my tattoo show from Hangwood and on Yo Pickles Inc. on Periscope. So um, I also have my regular Twitter, Autumn by the Sea. That's the one that I usually am on if I do Periscope. So it's whatever. There's enough of me to go around. Where was home before I moved to Korea? I was in LA. Korea is really fun. Really, really fun. Brown cocoa. Brown cocoa. Make sure I'm following brown cocoa. 
Oh yeah, I'm following. Of course I'm following you. Brown cocoa powder shirty. Creepy life. You've only done eight broadcasts and you have 3,000 followers? How is that even possible? I wish I had that. I have like freaking thousands. I think I'm at like 5,000 followers. I mean, no, 5,000 broadcasts. Something crazy. You only have eight broadcasts? How is that? How the? Give me. Can I take note? How the? Hi, Chris. Speak of the devil. This is a Periscope follower here. I was in Seoul and Pusan. Oh, really? You're in Seoul and Pusan. Ralph Rakin. Were you in this? Were you stationed in the military? Do you guys like how I said goodbye like 20 minutes ago and I'm still on like freaking talking? Isn't that great? Welcome to my life. I'm freaking broadcasting. I feel like I'm always saying goodbye, but then I just stay on. Ain't nobody got time for that. I haven't even put away my groceries. They're just sitting here with me. Great. <sighs> Military. Oh, really? Where in Seoul were you stationed? Were you at Yongsan? I'm actually right next to Yongsan. I'm in Itaewon. Which I'm sure you know Itaewon. Busan. Busan's cool. I'm, why am I working out? I'm skinny. Um, I like to work out because it releases stress. I work when I go running. I feel like it's like a release. Some people have a release drinking, and some people have a release fucking, and some people have a release freaking t t fighting. I have a release by running. What up, Shay J? I run and it's like, ah, that was great. I don't drink, I don't fight, and sure as hell not fucking. <laughs> Especially camels. So, it's my only thing to release myself. Run, pickles, run. <laughs> oh my god. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright guys, I'm going to show you one scary thing, and then I'm going to go. That's freaking scary. I don't smoke weed, no. Whoa. I look like a freaking zombie. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Look at my skin. Ew. Look at my freaking puby hair. Ew. It looks like pubes. Oh my god. Get me out of this. This is freaking me out. Phew. Whoa. All right. I don't know if you guys are still on. I just jammed up. Um, I live with my roommate, Lola. I'm not married, no. I'm not married. All right, I'm out of words. People are still coming on. I feel like... Maybe if I just sit on here for an hour, I would have like a thousand people that would stop by. Maybe. Um, yeah. I wish I could. Um, wait, I'm going to do some stocking. Chris, are you talking about that's really cool with that sketchy face? That was not cool. That was scary. Oh my god. This guy. I'm sorry. I have to block that guy. Why did I move to Korea? My ex was stationed in the military, so I originally came here because of that. And we lasted like four months until he freaking cheated on me. And then I was like, wow, thanks for moving me all the way to Korea, asshole. Anyways, um, but I fell in love with Korea. 
I stayed, he left, and that's the end of that story. And I've been here ever since, making the best out of it. Yep. I want to see something. How many people are actually on right now? It says like the numbers are climbing up and people are actually coming on, but like, really? It keeps freezing so I didn't hear your answer. Oh, really? Um, my answer is I'm single, I'm not married, and I live with my roommate, uh, Lola. And now you're the chick from Korea. <laughs> Shit, I can never leave. I'm really grateful that I came here and I took the freaking jump to like move across seas because um, I don't know. It was a really cool adventure and I've got to travel like all over the world and I've met some really cool people and I'm like, I'm actually like making a lot of money. Like, I don't know if I would be making as much money if I was in America. So I can't complain about the decision of me coming here. But when it comes back, to when it come when it comes to me thinking about going back home, it's a really scary thought because oh, it froze for a bit after you on the filter. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it froze on my end too. Um, I feel like it's this is home now, so going back home is um, not an option. This is my home, so it's a little bit freaky because I can't stay here forever. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do next. So I feel like I have a lot of opportunities back home, so I just need to go home. But the fact of going home is like the scariest thing ever. So I don't know what I'm freaking to do. I don't know. I think I'm going to come back in February for a couple months and see what happens. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I, I am due for a visit. Um, I usually go home every year, which is exactly a year right now that I've been home last. But I won't be back till February, so it's going to be like a year and a half. <laughs> So I'm definitely due for a visit. If anybody wants to pay for half my plane ticket, I'll come tomorrow. It's freaking expensive. One hundred and sixty-seven. Is that how many people are watching? Oh, hi, one hundred and sixty-seven people. I don't know if they're all watching at one time. I think there's probably only like twenty people on right now. And for the people that are still on right now, watching me talk about, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for staying. I want to come and visit Kansas. Damn. I feel like if I had everybody, all my followers pay $1, I could get home by tomorrow. That's not that bad. If everybody paid $1, would you guys pay $1 to see me <laughs> live in America? $1. See, 168 people pay $1. That's like a huge discount on my ticket. Oh, Liz, I was going to tell you. I was going to tell you to come over, but there's no way I can tell you because I would hang up the broadcast. You didn't miss anything, but I've been on here for almost 30 minutes talking about I don't even know what. MERS, masks, camel fucking, um, paying a dollar to see me for free. You would pay a dollar? Oh. Would you pay five dollars? Because if I get five dollars per person, I wouldn't need as many people. Damn. Where is home in the States? Well, my mom lives in Florida, and my dad lives in Florida, but my family, some families in Portland, Washington, California. Oh, what time is it? Oh, my God, I have to go take a shower. I have to go to work. Liz, you just missed it. Liz, by the way, that picture that I sent you, they, like, photoshopped my neck because I showed it to my mom, and she's like, Chelsea, what happened to your neck? You need to stop running. You look too frail. I'm like... Seriously, that's not my neck. They, like, made it look all long and, like, giraffe. You pay more? Hmm. But you're not in America. I need to make my ticket to America. Maybe Hangwood will pay me to go home. <laughs> Hangwood. If you just pay a nice amount, like $100, I'm sure Hangwood would pay $100 for me to come home. <laughs> just kidding. I have my own money, but it's expensive. To come home just for a visit, it's expensive. If I come home for good, then it's worth the money, but if it's just a freaking visit, it's freaking a lot. $10? Towards, fuck, Australia. I haven't seen it yet. Vancouver. I definitely will come to Vancouver. My friend Alan's from Vancouver. He's moving back on... 
he's leaving Thursday. Oh my God, Alan's leaving. And he's going to be in Vancouver, so I'll definitely go and see him because I'll probably be spending some time in Portland, which is not too far from Vancouver. So I'm definitely going to come to Vancouver. Let me make sure I'm following you. I'm following you, Michael. Michael. Struten. 30 You paid $30? Is that what that is? Damn, $30? If everybody paid $30, I would... How many? Let's see. Let's do the math. If the ticket is twelve hundred dollars, twelve hundred divided by thirty, one twenty, one twenty. I mean, forty people. <laughs> one hundred. Wow. Hi from the east. Hey hey hey. See, if I just stay on here long enough, then more people will just come on. Sweet. A hundred dollars. Damn. Little Yojo, where are you at? If you paid $100, I would have to make a trip to come see you. Are you in like 900 grand? What? 900 grand. Actually, I wouldn't feel comfortable taking people's money, to be honest. Ain't... Vancouver, BC. Nice. One thousand? You pay a thousand? Sheesh. That would be awesome. But I feel like I would owe you a lot if you paid one thousand. I would have to like do stuff that I probably don't really want to do because that's weird. I'm not that kind of girl that's like, hey baby, pay for my plane ticket <laughs> and then I'll fuck you. Mm mm. Mm mm. Will you have a car to tour around in? Mm. -mm. I have a car. My mom. <laughs> my mom has a, my car. She's had my car for five years. Do you know I bought my car right before I left for Korea, brand new, and I never drove it? <laughs> mm. I know a few girls that. Oh, why did, why did I just do that? Mm. It's gross. Uh, no? Sweet. I have to like give you a back massage or something. Road trip. I'm planning a road trip. When I actually come back, it's definitely going to happen. I have to. There's too many people. <laughs> You'll send your plane? Please send your plane. Oh my god, that'd be so awesome. Freaking front seat. I'd be so scared, though. Did I sell what? My car? These chats are so slow. I'm not getting them live. That was nice. That was a nice snack. All right, guys. I've been on 33 minutes. There's 194 people watching, which we should probably wait till 200, but I have a feeling 200 people won't come and say hi to me. I ran, but eat healthy just to keep my body fat down. Knock. Ah, this is good. This is kind of like what I do. Like, I run so I can eat ice cream. It's not really a good excuse. But for the last year, actually, it just hit one year that I started my body challenge. For the first six months of my body challenge, I didn't eat, like, anything bad. Like, no cheating, no nothing. And it was very tough. But I got used to it. And then, thanks for all the... Whoa, thanks, guys. I saw those blue thumbs going crazy. Is that Liz? Liz, now you know. You can like as many as you can, as many as you want, but it only counts as one. But I can see it happening, which is nice. Snack chat. Yummy, yummy. Wait, what? With a bed and kitchen in it. Oh, your plane has a bed and kitchen in it? Please, send it over. Oh no, Liz got the like button going. 
I think. All right, guys. I just hit 35 minutes. It's still at 195. It's okay, though. I'm not trying to count numbers, but I'm going to say goodbye and go take a shower and try to look like not a sumo wrestler. You guys, I have 11 more days until I go to Hong Kong. So I'll be broadcasting from Hong Kong with Liz. She's coming as well. Um, I don't run 10K every day, but I try to run at least 5K, 5 to 10K every other day. I try. I try to do two 10Ks a week, and then the rest are like 5Ks, put it that way. I try. But lately, it's been really freaking hot, so it's really hard to run. In the winter, I can run better because it's like cool. Yay! Yeah, Hong Kong. I'm excited. I haven't done any research. Liz has done all the research, so I don't know anything. I don't know anything about Hong Kong, except that we're going on a hike, and that there might be snakes, and that our Airbnb is pretty cool looking, and hopefully it's as cool as the pictures, because I've stayed at a couple of Airbnbs that looked really cool in pictures, and I got there, and I was like, uh, this is definitely not like the pictures. Yeah, you guys have to come watch. I have to make sure I can get, like, the Wi-Fi thing. Liz, when you went to Hong Kong last, um, could you get an egg? I want to be able to broadcast. Like, we have to get Wi-Fi somehow, even if we share it. We have to have it, especially for our hikes. I wonder if I can, like, tell Korea that I'm going to Hong Kong, and then they can, like, turn on my service or something. I do. That's what made me so excited. Whenever I watch penguins, I'm like, ooh, these hikes look freaking awesome. I'm going to have to wear a diaper, though, because I'm probably going to pee my pants. For one, there's only one bathroom, like, really far into the hike. And for two, Liz makes me laugh really hard, like, deep inside laughter. So I think it's going to press my bladder, and I'll probably pee, like, five times. Yeah, it's cool. They have stuff like that, a SIM card. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Sweet, I hit 200, so that means I can leave. <laughs> Thanks for everyone for stopping by. Uh, maybe if I have time before I go to work, I can swing by and say hello again. If not, I'll be on Periscope, one of the two. Um, yay. Deep laughter. Seriously, it's like, that sounds like my laugh. Like a pirate nub. I probably will pee on myself. Seriously, I think the funniest thing in the history of freaking laughter, that the, the deep laugh laughter is when people gag. I think it's really funny. Like if they <laughs> eat something really gross and they gag and their eyes start watering. It's not, it sounds really bad that I say that, but I think it's hilarious. Like, babies gagging on baby food, I think it's freaking hilarious. <laughs> or eating sour lemons. <laughs> Anyways, those faces get me every time. And the second thing that always gets me every time are people that are afraid of birds and bees. <laughs> people that run from insects. I'm scared of insects, and they're creepy, but... Some people, <clears throat> Liz, are way more scared, and they do really funny things when they um, see bugs. So those are the two things that make me woo-ha. <laughs> I need a diaper. <sighs> now, if Liz can only gag and run from these, that would be probably where I'll have a heart attack. <laughs> From laughing. Oh my god. The funniest thing when you hear people snorting and laughing, this is funny. Stephen James, what up? Salute to you, buddy. Long time no see. How are you? <laughs> We're talking about some funny things in here. Oh, my face hurts from smiling. I'm going to have some really fucked up wrinkles when I get older at this rate. Like, scary. Um, so, yeah. Those are the top two things that make me laugh. 
<laughs> and if you guys know the song, North Carolina. Wait, South Carolina? South Carolina. Something, put your head. <laughs> Fail. Take your shirt off and put it around your head like a helicopter or something like this. This is a white girl trying to sing a song that is not existent. Anyways, that song, that's what Liz does when she sees a bug. She does like, she does like, um, oh my god, I'm going to be broadcasting Liz freaking out. Definitely. I should have did it the day we went to Namsan. That was freaking awesome. Seriously, my stomach hurt so bad from that. I felt bad for laughing though because she's seriously scared, but it's like, see serious the faces that came from that <laughs> will never leave my memory <laughs> it's sort of like that north carolina okay i know put your hands up for detroit wait, wait. all right guys 41 minutes okay i have to say goodbye seriously i have to say goodbye See you guys soon. I uh, will be on on Hangwood tomorrow um, for the tattoo talk with Yo Pickles. So you guys make sure you stop by. It's going to be the same time as this, um, just one hour earlier. So you guys stop by tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to the guy that said my head was big. And cheers to everyone that's on being awesome and that stayed on this whole time. Chris and all the people from Periscope and all the people that are from Hang With and the 214 people that stopped by. You guys are awesome. I'll see you soon. Mr. Pickles loves you and so do I. Bye.